Well, hello. Let's record some audio in Reaper. I'm going to start by heading to my desktop, get some audio level set. We're just going to come down here, right click on speakers, go to recording devices. You'll see a couple of devices depending on what you have plugged in. Mine is the USB multi channel audio device. And click through to properties. We're going to go to levels. I like to just slide that over so I can see where we're at and adjust accordingly. Turn it way down. You see it. Boop, you saw it disappear. Now I'm probably clipping out real bad. Get it right. So right kind of in the middle of where you like it. You don't want to be bouncing off of the top but you don't want to be so low that all you're picking up is noise. Switch back to just Reaper. And go to track, insert new track. Ooh. That is my, let's go to options and then preferences find audio and then device you'll see a nice selection of things available hopefully wave outs usually the easiest every computer should have it you're going to do the same thing pick your input device boop i've got the usb multi-channel audio recorder and you'll see i'm coming through real nice on the meter right there um, you can also should most most preamps you'll have the ability to adjust your gain on the input as well. Um, I'm using a blue icicle along with a blue bluebird microphone, um, so it gives me a lot of different options. Um, I have the record armed right here that allows me to see what is going to be where my levels are at from the microphone before recording. Uh, basic audio controls and we can just go ahead and hit record and you'll see the waveforms popping up as long as you have that enabled and this just shows you where your audio is at that looks like a pretty decent bit as soon as you hit stop it'll pop up and ask you if you want to save delete whatever I usually just save all and it doesn't matter if you have one or thirty different tracks going it will it will ask you for all of them and you can delete certain ones or keep some and make it look real nice I'm gonna add a little bit of compression I like to start with a DS do 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 oh and if you disable your record arm, record, you can play and it and you'll see the waveforms popping up as long as you have that enabled. And this just shows you where your audio is at. Record. And you're just going to want to fine tune see and make things the waveforms popping up as long as you Hopefully have that sound better than, than I do. And this just shows place. you where your audio is at. And you'll see make the waveforms popping up huh. as long as you have that enabled. I cleaned it record. up a little bit. Hopefully it sounds pretty good. And record. And then from here we're just going to render this out as an MP3. So go to File render I have it set to just Reaper Media for random projects like this oh let's step back when I click and drag that made a time selection so you notice that white bar that is our time selection that we will use here under render bounds time selection you do entire project if you really wanted to get into it you could write like just type in your actual time range I'm just going to do selection it's usually easiest and output format 
got a lot of formats. If it's for podcast purposes, just use MP3. Quick and easy. And this is your file name. Just test your audio. Boo! That quick and easy. You just made the clip of audio. Later.